This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Hi, my name is John Cordy and I break down licks on YouTube with the hope that by bringing you this specific lick by Guthrie Govan, it's going to make me enough money to buy a second home or something like that. Uh, no, seriously, um, as I talk about regularly, uh, I try to share the things that have caught my interest and that I think are maybe worth learning and explain potentially why. This is, Guthrie's stuff tends to be improvised, as I'm aware, this is from the song Waves. Uh, about two minutes 18, there's this little line that jumped out at me when I was listening to it yesterday, and I thought, well, I'll try and break that down. On a Monday is not a good idea, because it's taken me absolutely ages to get it anywhere near speed, but the fact that it's improvised, uh, you know, there's really no one quite like Guthrie. It's such a beautiful little line. Let's just delve into it and break it down. Patreon will be the place to get the, the tab and backing track. There is an ex existing tab for this by... I think is it Jeff Perkins, someone like that, but I actually think it's slightly wrong. Um, so I'll show you what I think was going on with the lick and then it's up to you to, to try and practice it and stuff. For this part of the tune, we're actually going to be, uh, I think uh, initially the solo starts. In A minor and then it jumps up to C sharp minor which is where we get involved and uh, the lick I'm hearing the the tempo I hear it as like a half time thing so the the drums are going one two three four one two three four so uh, that's how I'm hearing it I think other people might argue that it might be like well whatever and this would be 30 seconds but I'm hearing it as uh, being a halftime beat and therefore my transcription uh, I've written it out in 16th notes right so we're going to start the lick off uh, on the and of beat three so you go one two three one two three and four so that's kind of where you can place the lick I think it sometimes helps to count along um, certainly when it's when you're first learning the lick to try and place it So that's our first kind of little part. So we start on the 11th fret, I think, and we're gonna rise up chromatically. I feel like Guthrie might be one of these chaps that does this barring thing. But for me, I prefer to, to play uh, with that pinky underneath, but I think Guthrie might have gone. something like that so you get so 11 12 13 13 13 12 11 13 11 10 9 1 2 3 and that is going to be a little bit of a, a, a thing or the whole lick is a real handful, but that part isn't too bad compared to where we end up. So, and I think he would have alternate picked it. So 
So we get this. And from here, we come back down to our ninth fret. So coming out of this chromatic part, we come down 9, 11, 10, 9. So that's basically just blues scale, right? Or pentatonic with that passing. And I'm not exactly sure what he's doing here. It might be um, something like that, or but either way, those are the notes. But I think I think that might be how I would play it. So nine, twelve, nine, nine, seven, nine, seven. Or you could go, so you'd get. Uh, like that. Consider how you want to play that last bit, but. definitely some slidey action going on down there um, or from here like that maybe that might be the more natural um, and from there we then start are sent back up so you slide back up from the seven to the nine then nine eleven twelve eleven nine thirteen which is like sort of a c sharp minor uh nine or Or you could think about it as a, an E major 7 kind of arpeggio. And we finish up here. On the ninth fret, which is our E. And I imagine he would probably be sweet picking that. And here it was written in the tab that he kind of slides up to the 11th fret, but he doesn't actually quite get there. He kind of goes like that and then hits the 12th fret to continue the line. So it kind of goes So if you want to play it authentically, then I would hit that um, that 9, 10. But I imagine what he was actually kind of thinking was probably that 11. Um, so all together that arpeggio ends up kind of going like this. kind of chromaticize all the way up to 15 and then half step bend up to the 16th I think something like that so you get uh, you definitely need a slide in there what I think you might have intended uh, but I guess the rest of the line is so perfect that you might even be safe to assume that that chromaticism there was even intended I'm, I'm not 
sure either way. So all together you get something like And maybe I'll try it with a, a click just to really humiliate myself. One, two, three. Something like that. One, two, three. I think. Um, just a real handful so at this kind of tempo it's kind of manageable for me but as we really ramp things up it gets more and more tricky so i'm going to spend more time with it it's like a warm-up three one two three one two three One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three. So yeah, a really fun little piece of stuff. Like, spend a lot of time building the foundation of the lick, I would suggest. Otherwise, it's unlikely, I think, that you'd be able to get it quite as clean. Well, not that any of us maybe will be able to, but to get it as clean and precise as it needs to be to work. with a clean tone like Guthrie's originally was. So I'm gonna spend some more time practicing it and hopefully put together an introduction that does it almost some justice. Um, but I'm, I'm slowly getting there. Gradually. A real handful, but um, it was one that caught my interest yesterday. So I've spent a little bit of time this morning and today trying to get that up together for you so that I could share it with you. Mostly alternate picked, I'd suggest, um, although that kind of lead up the arpeggio, I would probably go kind of legato-y sweep picking for that. Um, give it a try. Let me know if there's any other Guthrie licks you want me to try and break down. It's a bit of a challenge but when they the lines sound so cool i think maybe it's a worthwhile one because even if you play this line sort of half speed it does sound really good um my next move once i've kind of got this a little bit more under my fingers i think is to move it into a few other keys and hopefully um start to ingest it as part of my own kind of playing i'll catch you in another video soon please feel free to leave a comment or something on the video to to kind of help it along in the youtube world um, if you thought this is the sort of video that you want from me or anyone else, I guess, um, that would help it to not perish on the wind. And uh, the tab will go up on Patreon for this, as well as a backing track. Catch you in another video soon. Cheers.